Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. More than 30 people were injured in a stampede at a PNP mass meeting at the Porsche Simpson Miller Square on Tuesday night. It was initially reported that two people had been shot, but the police say medical examinations indicate that the injuries were not consistent with those of gunshot wounds. And the Prime Minister has come under scrutiny for disobeying the instructions of her security detail to leave the stage after the shooting. PNP Region 3 Chairman Philip Polwell said the Prime Minister decided to remain so that she could calm the comrades who had come to hear her. And the Prime Minister is also being criticized for these comments she made after the shooting. Some others want our meeting to look like some other meeting. But what they do not understand about PNP people, we are never afraid. Meanwhile, the two major political parties are now fine-tuning preparations for Thursday's general election. The 70-year-old Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller will be seeking to lead her People's National Party to a second straight election win over the Jamaica Labour Party led by the 43-year-old Andrew Holness. And the Electoral Commission of Jamaica is reminding voters that they could be fined up to $80,000 if they take a photo or video of a marked ballot. It has emerged that a special services voter in Trelawney North took a photo of a ballot on Monday when police personnel and Election Day workers cast their votes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.